Today is Sunday the 15th. These are the three batteries from my dump truck that I ran down to stream low voltage. And what I'm doing now is attempting to recondition the battery with a smart charger. So right now we'll go to battery voltage and now it's indicating 14.6 volts. I don't hardly believe that. Okay, so we're going to turn it off. I've had it on the battery recondition mode for a little over 24 hours. So let's push charge. And we got a flashing warning saying internal open cell or sulfate did condition. Alright, so we'll come off the of charge. Check voltage again. Now it's showing 8.3 volts. This one shows 2.7. This one shows 3.1. They were all three pretty close, but now I'm starting to gain voltage. So the battery reconditioned with this charger appears to be working. Now then, this is one of those real fancy electronic uh, battery testers. The voltage is so low, uh, this screen will not show anything. This is your old school battery tester. In the back there's a heavy coil. When you do your test what happens is it dead shorts the battery and you'll see in this old analog system whether or not the battery has amp capacity. Uh, heavy duty cables and everything else. Now this is your old school battery charger not smart or a dumb charger when you plug it in it's going to charge but it will not charge an ultra low voltage battery it just won't do anything and it will also overcharge very easily because it never turns off so you got smart charger dumb charger smart battery tester that won't work with low voltage and dumb battery tester that works with any battery condition. So I think I'm actually doing some good on this first battery that's been reconditioning for almost 24 hours. Internet says it might take two, it might take three days. But you can see the size of these batteries, they ain't cheap. So it's worth some of my time to see if this smart charger with recondition mode will do any good. So that's all for this one and I'll give you an update after I get this first one done whether or not it took the charge and desulfated and still has uh, these are rated at 925 cold cranking amps with a 190 minute reserve. They're pretty substantial batteries. So anyway, it's worth a try. You know, and we'll see what happens. Thank you.